What's going on everybody? Today we're upgrading the spark plugs in this 2007 Yamaha FZ6 from some copper plugs that the factory recommends to some iridium plugs to hopefully get some longer life out of them. Now the stock plug on the spike is an NGK CR9 EK and the plug we're going to be upgrading to is also by NGK and it's called a CR9 EIX. So you can see that basically the letterings are the same all the way to the E. CR9 E is all the same. But then IX is what changes, and that's basically defining that the material type has changed from copper to iridium, and we've got a 0.6 millimeter fine wire iridium tip. Now, nowhere does the manufacturer say that this is the recommended spark plug, but I've done some digging online, and people have been running this plug in the bike since like 2008, 2009. That's how far back I can find on the forums that people say that they've upgraded to this spark plug and had zero issues. The reason I'm upgrading is I'm tired of burning out copper spark plugs. Maybe this is my experience. You can tell me if I'm crazy or if there's something wrong with my bike that I'm not finding. I burn through copper spark plugs after about 8,000 kilometers. Now, I have been riding this last set of plugs a little bit harder, just revving a little bit higher, just staying, and it's been a lot of highway, and I know this bike fires in batch ignition, so even when the cylinder isn't on combustion, it's still getting a spark. So really, you're putting twice the sparks out there as a normal car would with sequential ignition. So it kind of makes sense why you'd burn through plugs so quickly, but I'm just tired of burning through plugs this quickly. Right now, the bike's got a misfire like this. It basically just doesn't idle right. It hesitates when you come off a stop just for like between one and 2000 RPM. It's just annoying. It doesn't feel good. It makes me worry that there's something wrong with the bike and there probably is. The only reason I can think why Yamaha chose to put a copper plug in this bike instead of an Iridium one is cost and generally like where this bike fits into their hierarchy of quality of bikes. This is by no means like a super sport or a high-end bike, which makes me think they just tried to save cost a little bit on the spark plugs and not put a high-end iridium plug into your bike. Now, speaking of price, these aren't much more expensive. I'd spend about seven or 650 per plug for a copper plug before to do this bike, which would cost me basically $30, $35 to get a set of plugs. These I picked up for just under $10 a plug, so I paid about $45 Canadian after tax, and they're iridium, and they should last, we're talking like 50, 60,000 kilometers. In a car, iridium usually lasts around 120 or 140,000 kilometers because of their style of ignition and things like that. If we got anywhere over 20,000 kilometers, I'd be so happy because that means I could go at least probably two seasons without changing plugs, but I expect to get far more mileage than just 20,000. So here we have the NGK CR9 EK next to the CR9 EIX. You can see there's a difference in the electrode. We've got a single ground strap versus a double ground strap here on the EK. Also on the tip, we have this threaded on cap. You can unthread this to make it look like this. I'll show you that in just a second. But as you can see, they're the same width on the wrench flats. They're the same distance of thread sticking out. And the only real functional difference is the tip here. One being a radium and fine wire and one being a wide copper boy with, with two ground straps. With the top threaded off, you can see they look the exact same in profile. After messing around with my feeler gauges, I can tell that these CR9 EIX plugs are gapped to around 31 thousandths of an inch. Now this is more than the recommended 24 to 28 thou that is for the stock CR9 EK, but I think I'm gonna leave it and see how it works. I was thinking about gapping them down to like 28 thou at the top, but this plug just might work better with that gap. So I'm gonna throw it in stock gap, unchanged and see how it works. So this time around changing plugs, I didn't drop the radiator, I didn't remove it because I had many comments in my first ever video about how you didn't have to take out the radiator and yada yada yada, and it can be done. It would have been hard to film with the radiator in, but it can be done for you at home. It was a little bit more handwork, but one thing that made it really good was the supplied Yamaha spark plug tool. Now it's got the spark plug flats here, it's got a little rubber grommet on the inside to pull the plug up. And it's got this little universal joint here, sort of universal joint, so that you can bend the tool over to get it in, straighten it up, and then turn it. You can either stick a large Allen key in the top here or a 9 16 or 14 millimeter flats here with a socket and a ratchet. And it works great, made the job so much easier. Let's see if it's gonna start.
Well, that's a wrap on installing the NGK CR9 EIX Iridium plugs into the 2007 Yamaha FZ6. Now, I did something different this time that some commenters on my first video said that I did wrong, which is I used the Yamaha spark plug tool. This comes in your toolkit, and I gotta say, it's a gem in disguise. So instead of having to use a spark plug socket and a small extension and then you have to like disconnect it halfway out, this thing has a little bendy section where you can bend it over, slip it into the hole, straighten it up, and then you can either get a 3 8 Allen key in the top opening hole here, or you can use a 14 millimeter or 9 16 on the outer flats and Richie Ratchet, you get your spark plug out and then you just twirl it out with your fingers. And when you want to take the plug out, it's got a little rubber gasket in the bottom to pull the plug out. You bend it over, you pull it out, bing, bang, boom, Bob's your uncle, you're done. So I didn't drop the radiator, I used the Yamaha tool and that made this whole job a lot quicker. The Iridium plugs run, at least the bike idles. We fixed the idle issue, that's amazing. I can't really tell you what it's gonna be like long term, but I'm expecting to get at least 20,000 kilometers out of them and I would love to get like 60,000. I think that's possible. Who knows though, that would take probably another 10 years of riding. So this might be the last plugs this bike sees and that would make me feel pretty good. I'll leave the model number to the plugs down below so you know what they are. I left them at stock gap, which is around 31 thousandths of an inch, and tell me if that's bad, but my research and my thinking tells me that it'll be okay. If you know something more than me, drop in a comment. As always, please let me know. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps you out there with your FZ6. Get the most mileage possible. As always, please smash the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and have a good day.